input modules are installed in rooms with music sources that you wish to share with the rest of the property. These modules connect directly to the Hi-Fi 2 4x4 main amplifier assembly using CAT5 unshielded twisted pair for communication. Each end of the wire should be terminated with an RJ45 connector. Properly terminating the CAT5 cable is crucial for proper operation of the system. Insert the RJ45 connector on one end of the cable to the respective source input jack 1 through 4 under remote audio in IR out on the Hi-Fi 2 main assembly. Insert the RJ45 connector on the other end of the cable to the jack labeled remote audio on the rim. Changing the color of the faceplate is simple. Remove the white faceplate. The new insert attaches to the rim with two latches on the right side and two latches on the left. Using a small blade screwdriver, gently depress each latch on one side while lifting up on the insert. Now you can align the latches of the new insert to the openings on the rim and gently snap in place and attach the new faceplate. To connect an audio source, use a 3.5 millimeter male stereo patch cable and plug it into the audio in port on the rim. The rim also has a second port labeled IR out. Each rim ships with an IR flasher used for sending IR data to the source equipment if desired. When you point your source equipment remote control at the IR receiver in the volume source control, the IR data is routed to the appropriate rim to which the source equipment is connected, which then it sends the IR signal through the IR flasher to the source equipment. You can set the frequency as well between 38 kilohertz, which is defaulted, and 56 kilohertz using the frequency switch. 56 kilohertz is used for cable and satellite converter boxes primarily, which typically operate at a higher IR carrier frequency closer to 56 kilohertz. To change the setting, move the faceplate and insert and slide to 56 kilohertz.